The so-called Droste effect in photography is named after Droste Coco because in 1904, a Dutch graphic artist named Jan Misse designed this cocoa tin where the nun holding the cocoa is um, also holding a box of the cocoa with herself on it. And if you can imagine, the image goes on uh, within that uh, frame, within a frame, within a frame for infinity. Okay, so this is what's called the Droste effect, which is where you are able to repeat part of an image infinitely. So there's there's a, a sense of infinite depth. Um, let me just to show you that this was the original image. It's actually quite an ordinary photograph. The reason why I picked it is because it has this portal or doorway, um, but it's just a photo that I took of my husband walking up the stairs at Princeton University. This is what I ended up transforming it into. So you can see that this, this becomes like an infinity portal which was certainly not the way it was in the original picture. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I did that. The first thing is you want to pick a, an image that has a portal or doorway in it. So let me just open up this one. Okay, that's another shot from Princeton University. And it has a portal or doorway in it. The first thing you do is you unlock the background and you duplicate it. Duplicate layer. Okay, and you're actually going to duplicate it two times. Okay. This is actually a rather simple effect to achieve. You just go to the top layer and you're going to zoom in. I'm going to use my magnifying glass. And you're going to use the polygon lasso tool. And you're going to, first thing you're going to do is, is actually, I would use the magic wand here to select this area. And now I'm going to use the shift key to add to my selection. And I'm going to use the um, polygon lasso tool to continue to cut. Let me just cut a here. Cut down to here. Down to here. Up to here. Now I'm holding down my shift key because I want to add to the selection that I already made with the magic wand. And if I double click, that entire area becomes selected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the delete key on my keyboard if I'm on a Mac, and I can use the backspace key on my keyboard if I'm on a if I'm on a, um, a regular PC, but I just noticed that there's a little area selected that I don't want selected. Um, I mean, I want this, this to be part of the selection. So I'm going to use my magic wand and again, hold my shift key down and get this little area as well. Um, I can also do the um, quick select tool and the go to the plus. And I want to just hold down the shift key and I want to add to the selection. So I got rid of the crawling ants on that tower. And now I've got the entire area selected. And now I hit the backspace key on my keyboard. Or if you're on a Mac, you would hit the delete key. Now you can see if I hide the other layers that this is gone. Now I'm going to do select deselect. I'm going to unhide the middle layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Edit, Transform, Scale. It's hard to see, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it up 
right to the edge of this corner. Okay, and now I'm going to go here. I'm going to push this up to the edge. Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to get too small. And I'm going to go down here and push this down. Okay. Um, and I can see I pushed it too far, so I'm going to pull it out a little. And let's go over here. Oh, that's too far. So this is as far as I can go without something being visible that I don't want to be visible. And I'm going to push this up to here. There we go. So now I've created a portal within here. I'm going to hit the check mark. And I kind of would like more of the lamp to show. So I'm going to use my move tool and kind of go like that. I think that that looks really sharp and interesting. All right. And I can't have it that far over because then that starts to show over there. All right. So now my next thing to do is to zoom in here with my uh, magnifying glass <clears throat> and I'm going to make that same selection again in the middle layer. So I'm going to start here, go to here, go to here, go to here, go to here, Now I'm just going to go here, here, and here, and I've cut all that part, and I'm going to now use my magic wand tool. If I hold it on the shift key, I can add to the selection and get the rest of that blip. Now, <coughs> I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to go back to the bottom layer, and I'm going to duplicate it. Layer, duplicate layer. I have to always keep a copy of the original on the bottom. That's very important. Okay, so select, deselect. And now I'm going to take this layer. And let me zoom out so I can kind of see everything a little better. All right, I'm going to take this layer. And I'm going to do Edit Transform Scale. You know, I really can't see still. So let me just, I'm going to make it even smaller. Let's see. There we go. Now I can get the corners. All right. Edit, transform, scale. And I need it to be able to fit as close to inside this little door as possible. And you can see that this one looks a little bit off. All right, so I'm going to move this up. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it look like this line is continuous. And then I want to move this up so that that line looks continuous. All right, so I've got this sort of infinity thing going with the with the lamps. Um, but this, this is a little off. I want it to actually look like it's connecting. So I'm going to just do edit, transform, um, distort. And I'm going to pull this out so that it kind of looks like it's connecting there. 
and I'll also pull it out so it gives this sort of distorted feel here. All right, and you can really play around with it. All right, so um, you can see how I made this sort of endless tunnel. I'm going to use it now. Go in here, and I'm going to zoom way in. All right, so. basically repeating what we did before uh, this is very important we've got way too much detail over here with the lamp so we're gonna let the magic wand do it but when we do that if we don't hold the shift key we'll lose our first selection so now we have everything we're going to delete and we don't want to move this bottom layer. That's our original. <clears throat> so instead, we're going to duplicate it. Layer, duplicate layer. Okay. And then we're going to do, uh, we'll do select, deselect. And now I think we should zoom out so we can see what's going on. Edit. Transform, scale, I think that's good. Let me just zoom in so I can see if it's okay. So let me go down here. I'm going to do edit, transform, distort. I'm going to try and get the... All right, so we'll call this one Drosty Effect 2. Um, file, export, export as JPEG. Let's push this all the way to the highest resolution. Let's hit export and let's name it Drosty Effect 2. Now, let's take a look at Drosty Effect 2 versus the original image. So as you can see, here's the original image, which is quite an ordinary photograph that I took on the campus of Princeton University. And here is the image after I altered it, where it has this infinite tunnel uh, with one point perspective um, to create a very surreal effect.